Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is Southern Island Game Man. Who on Bleach Chapter 6, 681 on the, the end two worlds right now. This is literally the end. And by and both physically and literally because we got confirmation that Bleach was gonna end in around in the next in like five chapters, so in the last five chapters gonna be the last. It's like very problematic, you know. Oh, I kinda meant yeah, I do feel bad, you know. I know that Bleach is ending, you know, that also means I gotta stop uh, reading and go look for new material for myself. I mean, I'm limited, like, I have lot, I have manga and anime limitations. Like, I don't read a lot of manga and anime. I read, I read, like, the only manga I've read, it, like, uh, pretty much is, uh, uh, Dead Man Wonderland, uh, Blue Exorcist. You know, up to this, up to what, like, a long ways off after the ending, uh, ending, uh, Attack on Titan, Bleach, Naruto, but I never read the whole series of any of them, just chapters, you know. Oh, but I can get into, like, maybe, I can get into probably Kintama, you know, maybe, he, you know, you know, other animes just, uh, and manga as well. Anyway, let's get started, you know. Oh, Renji, how Renji just goes straight up attack Bach or has his back's turned. Uh, you can't attack your watch. I mean, he has to probably to see the future and he can rewrite the future. How he breaks his top of toe, like, it was nothing. I mean, it's Bach. I mean, I mean, breaking a Sabato so easily, you know, that isn't that. And, and for him, you know, I, him, you know, oh, I, I saw it coming. It's, it was dumb obvious right away. You know, seeing it, you know, you know, and especially with now that they know that Bach has the ability to read the future and rewrite it, you know, Rukia, Rukia uh, even though Rukia Renji, they arrive, I, you know, it's definitely very crazy. Crazy seeing how this all is, you know, they're like at a low point, but then we get, you know, shot change to Uriu and Hoshua fight, Hoshua fall, fall splat on his back, I mean, Yolar said it himself, he, don't, he no longer needs, needs help from anyone, including his children, the Stern Raiders, so basically he's going to kill them all and stuff up all their strength, you know, well, basically, you know, and we all know when a, when a Quincy dies, well, they're so their essence, it's transferred into your watch. Him being the first Quincy and the one who gave power to Quincy, he, that means he can take it all back. And, and every time he does, he grows stronger for, for it. So basically, he is a kind of a god in that way. And, and he's getting even more powerful for the, with, the, with the deaths of his half of his children, his army, the Stern Raiders. Even though he's dying, he's more than gladly to forfeit his life to your watch. Even though he's a loyal soldier, even though your watch is very, very crazy... He and um and a monster, and, and still willing to kill him just to so he can use him as fuel for his ambition. He's still willing to die. I'm like wow. Oh, I'm like this is you know, this is sort of you know crazy you know. But overall, when you think about it, it is crazy. You know, I gotta admit I kind of sympathize with him, him you know, especially the way he talks to Uliu, saying don't look at me like that, and, and fighting for a cause, fighting for. Even though you get to do things by yourself, it has some merit, some purpose to it, you know. It's he's just going to, like, die, he's going to accept his death. But go out, who are you letting him know he is proud of what he's accomplished and what he's done? It looks like he's going to give him something else, you know. Oh, and we get to see that his sword, his sword has the letter B with an arrow you know, in the middle. I mean, he is, his B, that means he's your watch's right hand. Does that mean that he holds the secret to beating your watch? The secret. But then again, when your wife's being empowered to not only see the future, but rewrite it. And, and Horohime, he said this to Rukia. I see the expression on Rukia's face, knowing that he has the power to do this. And it's like, how, they can, how can they possibly stop it? And seeing, seeing them all, seeing, seeing, Rukihime in, seeing Orohime in Rukia's arms, you know, seeing how uh, how messed up she is. As you know, how wounded she is. Even, she's like feeling so sad, even though she couldn't help him. Even though she gave it her all. Even though she's not a fighter, gave it her all. Uh, uh, but, uh, but no. Oh, she couldn't, couldn't heal each other. She couldn't protect him, have them, have them from all that. And she still tries to do her best. Yet, yet, you know, she couldn't, she couldn't, you know, go up against she watch its power by herself. You know, she's not a warrior, but she does try to help, which makes me feel sad that Odohime doesn't have a bigger role in this. It's just the person. Who heals and takes a beating like this, you know. Uh, even though Renji tries to stay, 
trying to like get Uchiha to pick himself up. Ichigo to pick himself up after getting wounded. Ichigo saying, just give it up. But no, no, I mean, you can't just hey, give up after coming this far. But then out of nowhere, a sword just comes right through the soda. And who, the, and the person who, who does it, who, who, who stabs him with the sword, is Tsukishima. And, and he's with, with Ruk, hey, Rukio and, and Ginjo, the other full bringers. I'm like, we already know, know that Ruk, know that Rukio was, oh, was nearby and some of the other servers. It's like Rika, uh, you know, when she came with Yodowichi and the others, you know. Uh, but that means that the full bringers are going to be helping him, but it seems that they're just going to give him a little boost. Like, help him get back up, but not at the same time, you know. They're not going to fight with your watch. I mean, they can't fight a guy. Even though they have, have full bring powers to see the soul and manipulate souls in any object or whatever, if you watch the full bring art, or at least read it, they, they can't go up against your watch, you know. That's, that's proven. That's been proven. So, yeah, that's been proven. So they're going to give him a boost. And he even tells Orohime, her power is the ability to, to reject transmigration and to do the, that, do the rules of nature that's been set by God. The only reason why she couldn't heal Ichigo or fix his sword at the time because Yawash was present and his power to manipulate the future and alter things kept her from doing it. So that means even with her power, she can undo all the damage Heal his sword and maybe even get his powers back up to full speed. You that means that means that there is still a chance they can win and not go out oh, and and not, and not go out of oh, you know just be just eating the pavement all the time. You know that is obvious. I don't want to see Ichigo just get stomped everywhere. Yeah, so seriously. Okay. So that's all. How to say? How to say? You know. Yeah. So. Overall, I I like I give this project I give this a good a, a like because we didn't I didn't know the full bringers were coming but this was a huge surprise, okay, so oh that's good news. The bad news is you know was your watch is already you know on his way to uh, has left and he's gonna make his plan to destroy the world uh, and cause chaos and destroy everything and rebuild the whole world oh, in his image. You know basically they have they're in a like a lose lose win situation, and so. I just hope they. I just hope it, it ends before it's not too late and ends in a in a, in a good way. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is Sullivan Adams. Give my latest view. Um, Bleach chapter six hundred eighty one. Hope, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Color on sky. Bye. Please don't let this just be the last five chapters. I hope it doesn't end like just five chapters. Just oh, incomplete. Bye.